Whenever we conduct research, we're interested in the effect of something on something else. Usually, we have an idea of what we might expect from previous research or theory. We use this knowledge to create a hypothesis. A hypothesis proposes a direct connection between a predictor variable and an outcome variable. Unlike a research question, hypotheses are declarative statements. Instead of saying, I wonder, we say, it is the case that. Hypotheses need to be specific. It is not enough to say that socioeconomic status impacts attention span. We need to say what we mean by socioeconomic status and what we mean by attention span. So we might say that the amount of money someone earns impacts their performance on a certain attention span task. These types of hypotheses, where one asserts a relationship between two variables, are called alternative hypotheses. These are contrasted with null hypotheses, where we assert that there isn't a relationship between variables. Null hypotheses, just like alternative hypotheses, need to be specific, declarative statements. To continue with the previous example, our null hypothesis would be the amount of money someone earns is not related to their performance on a certain attention span task. It is also important to determine if the alternative hypothesis is directional or not. This might seem unimportant now, but it will eventually be important when we learn about inferential statistics. A non-directional hypothesis asserts a relationship between two variables, but it doesn't say that the relationship goes only one direction. An example of this is the amount of money someone earns will impact their performance on a certain attention span task. If a positive or a negative relationship is claimed, this is a directional hypothesis. One example would be, the amount of money someone earns is negatively associated with their performance on a certain attention span task. I feel like I should say just a few more words on null and alternative hypotheses. This won't be covered on tests or the homework, so you can stop listening now if you want. Null and alternative hypotheses are just one way of thinking about how hypotheses and how we know things in psychology. The field of the philosophy of science is rich with different conceptions of hypotheses, theories, data, etc. One competing and prominent view of hypotheses and theories is that all properly constructed theories are true and hypotheses are merely claims that something that exists in the real world is an example of a theory. While this might seem strange, it impacts the way that we think about knowledge and our ability to know things. If you're interested, I encourage you to take a philosophy of science class. In the meantime, remember how I described null and alternative hypotheses at the beginning of this video as that will help you succeed in this class.